first of all, the use of the term red tape can be very, very offensive to people, especially one group I'm thinking of in particular. Civil War veterans. After the Civil War, veterans had to travel all the way to Arlington, Virginia to collect their pension pay, and their individual documents were wrapped in red tape. And of course, I, like Civil War veterans, hate the excessive bureaucracy involved in developing simple software. Now, some of you might be asking, is developing software kind of like fighting in the Civil War? Absolutely. Have you seen this documentation? I've learned everything I know about the Civil War from watching movies like Dances with Wolves, The Empire Strikes Back. I mean, I've seen Rambo like four times. It's totally like that. Glory, but not as much as you think. <laughs> Carl, shut up. Rambo was totally a Civil War movie. Okay. So aside from being offensive, really the only thing sticky about red tape is that I get stuck doing a lot of paperwork. <laughs> did you see what I just did there? It's a pun. Count it. Let me tell you why my run-in with red tape really sucks. I gotta spend three quarters of my time writing down what I'm gonna do. Then I spend half of my time actually doing what I said I was gonna do. Then I gotta spend a whole other bunch of time writing down what I did for project planning purposes in the future. I mean, it's like documenting the document that I'm gonna document so that I can document it later on. It's like freaking recursive documentation. Now look, programmers like me, we don't need requirements documents or tests because we're that good. At the same time, documentation lets us know ahead of time when Carl's gonna make a mistake. Documentation's also really useful when your boss comes and asks you what you're doing. Because technically, he wrote the document that's telling you what to do. So we need to learn the lesson that our government learned long ago to eliminate red tape and become a model of efficiency.